What kind of man you looking for, boo? Okay. Hey, I have standards, so, but I'm also realistic, so I want more of like a nerd. What? Okay, tell me what you want, honey. Like, I like, I like good boys. I don't like guys that, you know, smoke, drink, go out. I'm more of the type that does that. So I wait. Really you like, wait. You you wait. You smoke, drink, and go out, but you don't want a man that smokes, drinks, and go out. I know it sounds crazy, but I like more of like the guy that doesn't have the energy to do that type of stuff. You are so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. We are living in a day and time where these women are so modern they don't even know what they want themselves. Stay tuned. What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to another video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And today we're going to be looking at Another modern woman with unrealistic dating expectations. So without further ado, you know what we're going to do. Say it with me, y'all. We're going to roll that clip. What kind of man you looking for, boo? Okay. Hey, I have standards, so, but I'm also realistic, so I want more of like a nerd. Okay, tell me what you want, honey. Like, I like. I like good boys. I don't like guys that, you know, smoke, drink, go out. I'm more of the type that does that. So I really wait, you, like, wait, you, you, wait, you smoke, drink, and go out, but you don't want a man that smokes, drinks, and go out? I know it sounds crazy, but I like more of like the guy that doesn't have the energy to do that type of stuff. You know, the one who's more of like, I'll just stay home and wait till my day comes back. But you don't want the man to be out. So who, who do you go? To, so who do you smoke and drink and go out with if your man doesn't do that? My friends. So you want to go out with your friends, but you want to stay in the house with your man? Yes, but we will have our days where we do stuff together, if that makes sense. But primarily, like, I want him to be a home homebody. But you're just not a homebody yourself. No. Maybe when I have kids in the future, when I have kids, like in the future, I'll be a homebody. If that makes oh, no. sense. So she wants, so she wants a man that's gonna sit in the house and wait for her as she goes to the club with her <laughs> girlfriends oh and other men give her attention. Cause you go to the club to get, you know, unless you're going to a lesbian club, I'm assuming you're going to a regular club, right? Typically, yeah. And then men probably want to buy you drinks and might want to dance with you or might want to talk to you in, in the club atmosphere, right? But I'll, I'll say no. I won't Oh, you'll say no. You'll say no. Yeah. You'll say no. yeah. I'm just there for more of like the vibe with my friends, if that makes sense. Like so I'm more interested in the vibe that. with your friends. And why can't your man just be there for the vibe too? My, my, my man can't twerk. You know, it's kind of different. Like. There are certain oh, vibes you get oh, with. Oh, so you want to twerk for other men to watch? It's not your man. <laughs> Miss Kendra, no. <laughs> Miss Kwame. It's not you want like that, like. Okay. I don't know. I feel like my man can't do all things that my homegirls can, if that makes sense. Right. But you don't want them to do it either. You want them to drink, smoke. But then you also told me now I'm confused. You drink, smoke. No judgment, but when I asked you about Zodiac, you said the cross is your sign. Mm -hmm. What are your deal breakers besides your man going to the club with you? Um, he has to be taller than me. Okay. Um, he has to be taller than me. He has to. How um, tall are you, Quambo? Five five. Okay. So could he be five eight, five nine? No, at least 5'11". And I 
I do want him to be like muscular a little bit because like say I get in a fight at the club, babe, come save me, whatever, and yes, we're ready to oh, fight. Oh, so he can't go to the club. <laughs> But if you get into a fight at the club, you want him to then go to the club? Oh, hey, like something like that. A body. <laughs> I knew you had a body on you. Where you okay? okay well, where you coming from in the no. outfit? Or where you going? Oh, we're, the, we're on our way to our friend's birthday party. <laughs> I mean, you look good. You definitely had a body. I knew you had a body, though. How much money he got to make? Mm. Mm. Yeah. 40,000, what is that a month? 40,000 a year is fine with you? No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I have to do the math. Okay, I need at least, he needs to make at least 12 bands a month. 12,000 a month? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's do the math. Let's, let's have math class. 12,000 a month, well, 10 months will be 120,000. So two more 24, so. What is that? 34,000, 134,000 a year? I, I, I just can't. I can't. So you mean to tell me that you want Steve Urkel, who's a nerd, you want a guy that's going to stay at home while you go out and smoke, drink, and run the club? Huh? Stop it. Get some help. Then, in case you get into an altercation, you want your simp to save you. <laughs> Women. This is the modern woman, fellas. This is what we have in America. This is what we have to deal with. And if you notice, she was dressed like a thot. She listens to Sexy Red Pound Town. She probably got her outfit idea from Sexy Red. And these are women that have outrageous demands, but yet they want to be a wife. They want to be a mother. They want to be a family woman. They want a traditional relationship. But you want a traditional relationship, but you're dressing like a thought and you're not even a, a non-modern woman. You can't cook. You can't clean. What can you do? Use your body to attract men that will just use you and dump you like a sack of potatoes. Say you were to go on a first date with a guy and his card declines when he's paying for the date. Bye. <laughs> Bye, yeah, I'm not, I'm not dealing with that. You wouldn't cover the bill? No, because he's the one that asked me on a date. What if it was like mutual? Um, if I like him, to be honest, if I like him. Would he get a second date? No. This is the state that American black modern women are in this is the dating market we have no one else to blame in this situation you can't blame black men because even oprah the black man hater herself said that black men are more in the home. There's been this landmark study from the Center for Disease Control, which debunked many of the myths surrounding black fathers. It found that the majority of black fathers live with their children. Black fathers are more likely to help their children with their homework, prepare meals, bathe and dress their children compared to fathers of other races. So the absent or deadbeat black father myth that many in America believe is really more like a lie. Black men are taking care of their responsibilities. Black men are taking care of their children. Black men statistically don't get married as much as black women. So as you can see, 
Where's the real issue? What's the real hold up? It's time for women to be held accountable. And before you jump in the comment section and say, well, what about black men? From the early 2010s until the early 2020s, we have been talking about black men. We've been talking about how black men are always locked up. We've been talking about black men ain't nothing. We've been talking about no scrubs. We've been talking about all of this mess about black men. But yet, when the shoe is on the other foot, now you don't like it, now do you? Nope. You don't like it when people are holding you accountable, black woman. People aren't. You don't like it. The sisterhood doesn't like. This is what I'm saying. We need to have a healthy dialogue between black men and black women. We need to call out modern women. We need to call out delusion. We need to encourage people that stand against it. There are women out here that stand against modern women. And for this woman to want what she wants is pure delusion. You're not going to get a stay-at-home Urkel that takes care of the house and lets you run around all day while he's at home paying for the whole house. You might, but it's extremely rare. And you basically want a Urkel-type nerdy guy who will simp over you, let you go out to the club as long as you come back home to him. Good luck finding that. And women, black women, sisterhood, I want to issue a message. You need to stop. Stop it. Get some help. Single people keep people single. Broken people keep people broken. Stop being miserable and broken and start looking at yourself, examining who you are. Heal your childhood trauma. Do better. Don't get better. Get better. I'm going to leave you with this. Don't get better. Get better. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell. That will let you know when I upload content and until the next video, peace.